Okay, so today I am going to show everybody how to um, use one of these, or how to attach these mini snaps for um, clothes, and, and you can use it for jeans or um, wallets, um, purses, and stuff like that. Um, but you do need a separate tool so that you can do it. And um, so the tool looks like this. It's a mini um, snap tool. And um, I don't know if you can see this. So this is the little plastic tool here. And it comes with um, some accessories that you will need. Let's see if that's better. Okay, so it comes with some accessories that you'll need to, um, to put it all together. So um, I'm just going to use this... Um, washcloth that I have and show everybody how it's done. This little spike is used to put a hole through the um, the material that you're using, but I actually skip that. So I'm going to go ahead and skip that right now, and I'm going to um, do my button first. So you take this little round one. It has like a little dish. You put that, just snap that in like that, and then the top one you use and make sure. So the top one you use is this little one that looks like a little um, top that you can twist. So put that in there. So this is what your little tool looks like now. So you're going to put the, the little button in the little dish. This bottom part I'll show you. So you see that part? It's a little, it's a little bottom part that you use for the button. So that goes here. The, um, the actual button that you see from the outside of the clothing, the little shiny one, oops, you see it right there. Oh, I'm sorry, actually it's wrong. The little shiny flat button goes on the bottom, and then the, the other button that you, that's on the inside of the clothes that has the hole will go um, onto that little top tool. So you just kind of put it on there. Just kind of okay. So I'm going to use. I'm just going to use this fabric here. So I'm just going to fold that over. I'm going to kind of center. Make sure my little button is over the little sharp part. Okay. And sometimes this does not work. Okay, so then you put it down. Try to make sure it's even, because if it's not even, it kind of messes up the little bottom part. Okay, so then you just take a little mullet, hammer, whatever you have, and then you just hammer it. And voila. And then you see, you have the button. Can you see that? So you have the button here. I think I have to hammer it a little bit more because this, um, Washcloth is kind of thick. Make sure I have it in the bottom thing. Okay. And I did put a hole in it first. Oops. So I'm just gonna hammer it. Alright. So you can see that's on there. Okay. So now for the button, so you, you're gonna need a the other side. Okay, so you're gonna take these little parts out. The the little flat one that looks like a bowl and the little one that looks like a little top. So you're going to put those aside. Now you're going to use um, these two tools. I don't know if you can see how good you can see those. But you're going to put these in here. One has a little hole. And then the other one kind of looks like that. Let's see if you can see that. Okay. So now I'm just going to turn my washcloth around. So, I'll do it over here. Okay, so now I'm going to put okay. So now I'm going to put my um, the little button, the little button part that actually snaps is going to go into this little hole. So it's going to hold like this. And then this part here, just going to hold it secure. And that is going to go slippery fingers here. So 
you can see you kind of kind of you gotta kind of hold it and that goes in there so once you put the fabric here though so you're going to put the fabric over just going to drape it over again and again this is thick so hopefully it'll work so just make sure it lines up and then you hammer it again i've got all kinds of stuff all over this workbench okay so now you have the snap here now you can take the first part you did and the second part and you just push them together it's kind of hard but you know these snaps are usually hard yeah. you know there's a little bit of um, washcloth left in there so that could be the reason why because I didn't clean it out very good but it should snap I have to dig out some of the, well actually there it is it snapped so I'll move all this so you can see. So here is the washcloth. There's the so you won't this part you usually don't see, and this is the part that you usually see like on a shirt or on a pair of pants or something, and it <laughs> and that's not supposed to happen. Okay. Yeah, as you can tell. The washcloth was just too thick, so I should not have skipped this part. So I should probably just go ahead and make that hole a little bit better. Because it's still... Okay. Probably not a good um, piece of material to, to practice with. So, see, this little tool is supposed to make the hole, which I should have done, especially for... An example. But let's just put these tools back on here and see if I can. And sometimes that'll happen, so let's see if you can see this. So I'm put that button back th back down. And um, let's see if I can find my hole. Okay, so there is my hole. So I'm just gonna have to kinda find it here. Just going to kind of use this as a guide. There we go. Okay. So you can kind of see that um, the hole's right there. So I'm going to put the shiny part on top again. And actually, I have it upside down. So, all right. so you see this the little sharp part? Okay, so I'm just going to hammer it again. That should work. Yeah. Okay, so that's much better. So you just got to make sure you do put that hole through it, especially if you're working with a thick fabric like the washcloth. Um, I just happen to have this laying around. That's the only reason I use it. So now it should snap a lot easier. There you go. And then pull back apart. So that's perfect. Hope that helps. Again, this is for the mini snap. Uh, snaps, and then the um, you actually have to buy the separate tools. So hopefully that helps everybody.